Hi and welcome at Iris TV. Today we report live from SAP in Waldorf and I have the pleasure to meet Thomas Farmering, Head of Product Management for SAP's VPM. And now we go to Thomas and ask him some question about business process management with SAP and Iris. Let's go! Hi, and now we are inside SAP in a meeting room together with Thomas Vollmering. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Eric. So as you can see, he is uh, a tall guy. Thomas, what is exactly your role within SAP? Yeah, Eric, I'm uh, a part of the SAP NetWeaver product management and uh, within that group, I'm the product manager for BPM, for business process management. Okay, so you should be the one guy who can explain our Iris TV audience in a short and crisp way how Iris and the BPM tools of SAP are working together, meaning how Iris is working together with the SAP Solution Manager, with the SAP applications, but also with the upcoming ESR and SAP NetWeaver BPM um, products. Okay. So, well, traditionally, we know Aris at SAP very well. Uh, since the early 90s, we have uh, a partnership with IDA Share, you know that. And uh, basically, what we have done in the 90s was we created a lot of reference content for our business applications. Uh, now, these reference content were based on EPC, on, on event-driven process chains. And uh, basically, as of the year 2000, we were uh, uh, developing a new kind of reference model that was focusing on uh, implementation uh, on configuration of SAP business applications based on um, reference content that we ship with the so-called business process repository. Uh, the enterprise service repository that is uh, uh, being shipped already, Eric, it's already in the market, um, is uh, now actually the one and only place where we as SAP develop services, enterprise services, um, for, for uh, different purposes. Um, traditionally, uh, SAP customers know SAP uh, because they standardize their business processes with us, right? Uh, so, but each and every customer has two basic needs. They want to integrate their processes and they want to innovate. And that is why, basically, we created a lot of services in the Enterprise Service Repository. Now, these services are used to create composite processes on top of our stable core, on top of the standardized business. Now, how this can be actually worked together, I can maybe uh, describe here on the whiteboard. So, you have basically really two chunks of data. You have the business process repository, sorry for that, business process repository and the enterprise service repository. Here we take a look at transactions and here we take a look at services. This is our, uh, our business suite, our business application. And here we expose these services. And here we have a view on implementing basically the SAP business suite and the business applications. Now this reference content can now be exposed to others. Traditionally we have started with exposing here our view on transactional processes for implementation purposes to others. And now we will also expose our services. So why would we do that? Again, traditionally, in a tool like Ares, you would start with value chain diagram to uh, describe your company, your company's business architecture. Then you would start creating organizational data, org data, and then describe really the process flow on a conceptual level to understand basically how the company works and de to detect white spaces. And this is very important. Now we have here the uh, uh, opportunity to not only display transactions for implementation purposes, but also enterprise services into uh, Aris for conceptually actually plan blueprints um, and for white space analysis. Now, if we take a look at how do I model to execute then, now we have added to the piece here, SAP NetWeaver Business Process Management, which is basically really model to code. We're using here BPMN, the Business Process Modeling Notation, and we're using here, of course, our own enterprise services to create exactly what I just said before, composite business processes. Yeah. Over time, also, these via the standard BPMN, we will align basically here our view on a blueprint from the strategy of the process architecture 
to actually uh, new processes, new innovation, new composite business processes. But today we focus here on really exposing transactions and enterprise services. I think this was very impressive to give an, a basic understanding and a crisp overview to our audience. Um, sorry that I mentioned that ESR will be shipped. Of course, Enterprise Service Repository is already shipped by SAP with more than 1,500 different services available. But in the near future, we will ship from IDS a connectivity between ARIS and the Enterprise Service Repository so that you can easily map the enterprise services with the process requirements that you have on the business side. And another question for Thomas is now, um, why did you decide it for BPMN and which kind of uh, notification enhancements do you plan in the future? Yeah, uh, at first I must say that we really um, like the uh, business process modeling notation, uh, like everybody in the market. We detected it very early that uh, this notation is easy to understand. Uh, and at the same, uh, because basically it is built for, or it was built and designed for business analyst kind of people. Um, at the same time, it is it is functionally rich enough so that a developer can really model something uh, meaningful to be executed. So you can directly execute from the BPMN model. So business process modeling notation goes beyond just traditional graphical programming that you have in workflow engines or in workflow management systems. And we see a huge advantage in this notation that it is both understandable for business and IT. So that's the reason why we uh, actually adopted uh, the, uh, the notation and uh, actually uh, we want to drive also uh, the notation towards BPMN 2.0 uh, to have a common serialization format, import, export capabilities. And we believe that uh, actually we can achieve something uh, which we always said in the market that we want to do that align business and IT and actually work with blueprints um, based on BPMN. Because what we do, of course, in the composition environment, uh, where SAP NetWeaver BPM is a new component together with SAP NetWeaver Business Rules Management, um, the goal of this is build composite application, so new composite business processes on top of our application core processes. And um, that is traditionally a developer's task, but also expose this to the business, to uh, a business analysts, this is our goal here. So I think um, as we are also with ARIS uh, following the BPMN standards and are capable of modeling, we will also follow the new and upcoming BPMN standard and I think this will be the connection point that we have between uh, those tools so that you can really use the tools complementary by ARIS for architecture, analysis, documentation and then of course the more you're coming into the business process analysis and uh, execution, um, you go to the BPMN standard. Thanks so far for this information. Perhaps uh, one further question, where can our audience get more information about all that? Yeah, if you want to get more information, go to sdn.sap.com or bpx.sap.com for the business process expert community. SDN is for our developer community and there we have a lot of information on BPM. Great. Thanks Thomas, Thomas Thanks, for inviting me and being here and we had a good lunch also today and I hope we will see us again. And now he's getting tall again. Bye. Bye.